Vice President Almunia of the European Commission, President Nielsen, Ms. President Bressel, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it gives me great pleasure to attend the high-level conference on China-EU urbanization partnership. Europe is the is the leader in the world to carry out industrialization and modernization. My current trip to Europe has taken me to Budapest, known as the Pearl of the Danube, to Brussels, the capital of Europe. I have been greatly impressed by European cities which have both rich historical heritage and diverse and modern appeal. China is the biggest developing country moving forward with urbanization. Our cooperation in this respect will be very encouraging. I have just listened to the remarks given by my European friends, and I was greatly impressed. I am confident that uh, our conference will be very conducive to China-Europe cooperation as well as our partnership on urbanization. It marks a new historic stage in our work in this aspect. Cities are the crystallization of human civilization, and to some extent, modernization is industrialization and urbanization. Right now, the global urban population has reached 3.6 billion, and 80 percent of the people of developed countries live in cities. Meanwhile, in emerging economies and developing countries, over five over millions of people join the urban population every month. And in the age of economic globalization, cities around the world have brought countries closer than ever before, and urbanization is changing our world and our way of life in significant ways. In the 17th century, since the Industrial Revolution, industrialization and urbanization of Europe led the world. European in the urbanization focused on saving space in cities, providing good public services, and creating a livable environment, as well as pres preserving natural rural landscape and developing multifunctional urban systems. In recent years, Europe has endeavored to blaze a new trail in building smart, green, and low-carbon modern cities. China, a country with a nation civilization, also has a proud history of urban development. The famous painting, Riverside, seen during Qingming Festival, vividly captures the life of Kaifeng, a dynamic commercial city in China in the 12th century. In modern China, urban development picked up pace through cultural interactions with the West, and uh, our urban population has increased from 170 million to 690 million since reform of opening up. A number of city clusters with international influence have emerged, including Yangtze River Delta Cluster, the Pearl River Delta Cluster, and Beijing Tianjin Hebei Cluster. We are keenly aware that urbanization has tremendous and profound impact on economic society and culture, science and technology, and people's well-being. We will pursue 
development in the scientific way accelerate shift of the growth model and take urbanization as an important strategy for promoting economic and social development and modernization. China's urbanization aims to expand domestic demand and promote development. And uh, every percentage point increase in the urbanization rate means more than 13 million rural population will move into urban areas and it will create huge demand for consumption of food, clothing, housing, cars, urban public services and infrastructure. China's urbanization rate has just exceeded 50 percent last year, but uh, it will still take a long time for China to catch up with developed countries. This is the everlasting internal driving force for China's economic development. China faced the basic national conditions of a huge population, limited natural resources and uh, land. We must conserve our, our natural resources and to develop our large and uh, medium-sized cities hand in hand. China's urbanization is agricultural modernization and industrialization. China has a huge population. Even when China's urbanization reaches a high level, several hundred of millions of Chinese will still live in the countryside. Resolving issues related to agricultural rural areas and farmers will remain a major challenge for China. It is therefore necessary for us to promote par parallel progress in agricultural modernization and balanced urban and rural development as we de deepen industrialization and industrialization. We have in place a system for exercising strict farmland protection and we rely on our own resources to increase supplies of major agricultural products. Food security in China is guaranteed. China's urbanization is people-oriented and aims to deliver equitable benefits to all. Our aim is to enable more people to enjoy modern and civilized way of life and promote social harmony and progress. China is pursuing urbanization in an innovative way to develop harmonious and livable modern cities so that uh, cities can provide equitable public services to people and to promote rural migrant populations' integration into cities and uh, promote public services such as employment, education, medical care and health and social security. We also give priority to building government-subsidized housing. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, China-EU Cooperation in Organization has a long history covering trade, investment, technology and many other fields. And almost all major companies from European countries have invested in Chinese cities and many EU companies have participated in making urban development strategies, plans and designs and in infrastructure operations in China. A number of landmark buildings in China, including the National Center for the Performing Arts and the National Stadium, show case such cooperation. China and the EU are in different stages of urbanization and each can benefit from the cooperation with the other. Urbanization is a priority goal of China's 12 five-year plan and it has the greatest potential for driving domestic demand. Energy and resources are the most serious constraints to China's development. We need to learn from Europe's advanced technologies and managerial expertise to advance urbanization in an orderly way and remove such constraints. And we need to work with Europe to improve our products, upgrade our industries, etc. And Europe also needs to use its advantages in urbanization to overcome the current difficulties to expand their market presence in China, where their technologies are applicable and have a huge market. China's manufacturing and um, the EU's expertise are combined. Amazing things may happen. We hope that the EU will exercise more flexibility in exporting high technology to China and more open. 
Therefore, we can benefit from each other's strength and achieve win-win cooperation. Going forward, we will take the urbanization partnership as a new platform share expertise and experience in new technologies and inject new impetus to China-EU cooperation in the next decade and beyond. With this in mind, I propose the following. First, jointly promote sustainable development. This is a new way for cities to tackle challenges and win the future. Currently, less than 25% of the buildings in China's urban areas are energy efficient, and the per unit energy consumption of China's heavy chemical industry is 10 to 15% higher than the advanced international level. And this provides us with a new space for urbanization in China. In the next five years, China is to invest over 5 trillion RMB yuan in environmental protection, and there is a huge potential to be, to be tapped in energy conservation. We are ready to pursue cooperation in R&D with the EU in jointly build green and low-carbon cities and enhance cooperation in new and renewable energies, waste disposal, and environmental protection industries, and circular economy. Second, deepen project cooperation. China is experiencing fast urbanization, and many European countries need to carry out urban renewal. The pipes, the waste and sewage treatment, and the infrastructures such as road network are to be upgraded. In terms of service industry, the landscape of a city are all the areas where we can further work together. We should explore the possibilities of working together in these areas, relax, um, lower the threshold, and upgrade our cooperation. Third, strengthen exchanges in management. The EU has gained rich experience in pursuing urbanization strategies, conducting urban planning, delivering urban public services, and ensuring social security, while China is implementing a strategy to build national functional zones. We are working to improve urban layout, build cities with distinctive features, enhance urban functions, and ensure sustainable land development. We are willing to step up exchanges with the EU in terms of development guidance, strategy planning, management policies to achieve sound urbanization. Our cooperation covers a lot of ground and can take a variety of forms. We are ready to carry out cooperation with the EU, its agencies, members, states and European cities. There are now 461 pairs of sister cities between our two sides, and today representatives from over 30 Chinese and European cities and uh, business leaders from China and the EU are present at this conference. There's a broad prospects for us to work together. I hope that our cities will expand exchanges, and I encourage active participation by businesses, public groups, and individuals to strengthen the foundation for promoting friendly cooperation between Chinese and European cities and carry out substantive cooperation both in the economic field and in people-to-people -people exchanges. Ladies and gentlemen, Europe has an important space in the world. With a strong economy and advanced technologies, it plays a key role in promoting global development. The harmonious development of the world needs a united, prosperous, and strong Europe, and such a Europe serves the need of world development and is the aspiration of the Chinese people. China and the EU, China-EU relationship is one of the most important partnerships in the world. As a, the global economy goes through realignment and changes, China and the EU have become increasingly interdependent on each other. We will continue to support Europe in its effort to maintain the stability of the euro and achieve economic recovery. 
We're ready to explore ways for effective cooperation and make contribution to resolving the European debt problems. Yesterday, China and Belgium signed a number of cooperation agreements. This afternoon, I will sign the joint declaration and the China-EU partnership on urbanization with President Barroso and witness the signing of China-EU joint declaration on energy security. We're committed to working with the EU to promote the continued growth of our relations and lift them to a higher level. Cities not just carry history, they create the future. Better city, better life. It represents the ardent hope of people both in China and around the world for the future of cities. Let us join hands to turn this hope into reality. Thank you.